Hey, peace to everyone. Um, this is about a Halloween thing that um, people want moved. And um, I really think it's a bad idea to move Halloween to a different day because, you know, in Mexico, they celebrate All Souls Day and it starts from Halloween to November 2nd. So um, the title, as you can see, Move Halloween? Thousands sign petition to change holiday's famous date. And here you have some kids that have some costumes on and baskets or buckets or whatever they are. Because uh, the spookiest day of the year no longer be on October 31st. That's the hope of a group called the Halloween Costume Association was started a change.org petition to move the holiday to the last Saturday of October. And like I said, I think it's a really bad idea because the Mexicans, they celebrate Halloween on October 31st through November 2nd for the Day of the Dead. That's why they call it All Souls Day. Uh, it's time for a safer, longer, stress-free celebration. Let's move Halloween to the last Saturday of October. The group also known as the Halloween Industry and Association states on the online petition i will not support that because i don't think it should be moved like i said um her halloween costume for pets five easy ideas as of friday morning the petition titled the saturday halloween movement garnered more than 7,020 signatures out of its 7,500 goal the petition was directly addressed. President Trump cites statics to help its case. Well, you know, I think Trump is a little exaggerating too much. And, you know, he's gone a little bonkers lately. So, um, the group claims there are 3,800 Halloween related injuries each year and 82% of parents don't use high visibility aids on their costumes such as reflective tape or glow sticks. Well, I think it is a good idea to have reflective states and have glow sticks so this way the people can see them at night or whatever. Most children don't carry flashlights while out on Halloween night, the group warns, while 65% don't discuss Halloween safety with their children. It is true, they, the parents, they really don't too much, and they don't know the dangers that can happen to the children. So they kind of figure, well, we're just going to let them know. You've got to talk to your children about it. Additionally, a large majority of parents, 70% according to the industry, don't accompany their kids while trick-or-treating. Well, that's because the parents are, what, lost in a sauce or whatever, or they're out doing something else, who knows what. Or the parents just don't care what happens to their kids when they should care about their kids. They need to sit their kids down and talk to them about it and accompany them to it because it's getting too dangerous now where these um, people are going to start snatching up your children and then when you don't know where they are well then you're going to regret not being accompanying their chil your children or what, what not why cram alright and it goes on what cram it into two rush every weekday hours when it deserves a full day the group asks it makes more sense to have it always on a Saturday so that we don't have to worry about getting the kids home and in bed early for school. The next day, one woman commented on the petition. Also, for most people, they wouldn't have to worry about working that day or the day following. Well, I don't know. It's just the way it is every day that Halloween was always on October 31st. But moving it to a Saturday, I don't know. Maybe, maybe it would happen, but then again, maybe it don't happen. But then, you know, this is all crazy and everything. 
For children, trick-or-treating would be much safer if celebrated during daylight hours, which can only happen on non-school days like Saturday, a man also wrote. Well, daylight, yes. If the parents have to leave work early or do whatever or wait till after they get out of work or whatnot, then yes, you can do it early in the day. Five easy Halloween treats to make this year. However, not everyone agreed with all of the group's arguments. The only reason they want the date changed is for money reasons. The more people trick or treat, the more costumes sold, the more money in their pocket. Get real. One woman wrote on the group's Facebook page. Now, I don't know what Facebook page she was on so whatever it is I think she's a little exaggerating herself this is ridiculous people already celebrate the weekend before regardless of what day of the week it falls on you clearly do not know the origins of Halloween this is just to sell more costumes and decorations Halloween is a religious holiday for some people other or, I mean, another added, I'm sorry. Well, yes, it is a religious holiday for the Mexicans. And like I said, they celebrate All Souls Day, the Day of the Dead of their loved ones or whoever in Mexico. Halloween has been celebrated for centuries, dating back to the Celts who lived 2,000 years ago in the era that is now Ireland. The United Kingdom and Northern France, according to the History Channel. The South celebrated the New Year on the first day of November, but believed that on the night before the New Year, the boundary between the worlds of the living and the dead became blurred. So, in other words, whatever was blurry to them, they really couldn't see what was going on. On this night, the Celts celebrated a festival called Samhain, when the ghosts of the dead were said to return to Earth. So yes, it is true, the spirits will come back to Earth when they celebrate it. And it is very often that people will celebrate it, but it's a little scary to take things too far ahead. And I'm out.